What is going on, y'all? What is going on, y'all? What is going on, y'all? Alright, let me stop. It's your boy Takeaway here, and I'm bringing you guys a video on how to score in the goal line area and how to score in the red zone. I mean, I talked about this before in my video that I made, like, probably like a month ago, you know, with a little slant, the little slant fade combo. But, um, I'm gonna get into, you know, a little more depth with it and show you guys what else you could do if you're not exactly in the goal line area. For those of you guys don't know, goal line is from 10 to the 1, and the red zone is from 11 to the 20. So, we're going to pick the play PA skinny post. I have my tight end at wide receiver for the route switch. But um, we're not going to get into that right now. We're going to pick the play PA skinny post. Runners versus standard cover three. It doesn't even matter what formation. But right now, we're on the 11. So, what I would do when I'm at the 11, I'll just put X on the fade or B on the fade. Just have two fades, X and B, and just hold right trigger and lead pass to the outside. Now, Jay Cull is not the best quarterback, so... Um, he may not throw accurate every single time, but that's all you need to do, guys. And um, he will jump up and catch it every single time. Does not matter. It will never get picked. I can assure you guys that. Doesn't matter if you have Sherman, whoever. That's why I picked the Cardinals, you know, two good cornerbacks. And as you can see, Alshon Jeffrey is definitely going up to get it, but he's dropping the ball. But we're not going to worry about that because in the game, he will catch it. Try to throw it to Bennett real quick. And as you can see, that animation will happen in a real game. You can click on, try to use it, pick it. And it will work every single time. This is something effective, and you have you will not have to worry about getting picked. As you can see, Ben is like 6'5", going against Kamari, which is like 6'2". And he's mossing him every single time. So, once again, now we're going to show you guys. You know, even though you put an X on the fade, you can also throw the A. So, you can have basically two fades on the field, match protect. And this A pass cannot be picked either. What you want to do is hold right trigger and just lead pass up. We holding right trigger right now. Uh, we got sacked right there. Run that one more time. Excuse me if you hear the music in the background. Just playing Pandora. But um, as you can see, we did the route switch this time. X on the fade. We're going to just hold right trigger, lead pass up. And he will jump up and catch it every time. Once again, it's practice mode. So you know how practice mode people tend to drop passes. So we're not going to worry about the drop passes right now. But once again, X on the fade. B on the fade. We're going to block our running back. Hold right trigger. Wait for him to cut up, lead pass up, and he will get the animation every single time. Actually complete it this time because they keep block shedding. As you can see right there. Now, I'm going to show you guys what to do. You know, when you're inside the 10-1, um, through, the 10 through one, um, I wouldn't run this like on a 1 necessarily from like the, I would run this from like the 5 to the 9, 5 to 10. But um, we just once again throw a fade out there. And then we're going to hold right trigger and lead pass up. And A is just going to jump up and snag it every single time. This will not get picked. Doesn't matter what coverage they're in, what zone they're in. So we're going to block him. We'll put B on the fade this time. It doesn't matter who we put on the fade. And he's going to jump up and catch it. Now, if you really want to get, you know, glitchy with it, you could say you could have B on the fade and X on the slant. And then now you have either X to throw it to or A to throw it to. So if you know if they kind of use her in, that was a bad pass right there. If they kind of use her in either side, you can just you know throw it to the opposite side. So once again, fade, hold right trigger, lead pass up, gonna jump up and get it. Um, hopefully you guys like this tip. Um, for now on, I think I'm just gonna be you know giving out tips and a gameplay here and there. Cause mutt, you know I don't want to get into mutt too much. I, I'm starting to play mutt, but um, video wise, it's just a lot of people doing mutt, and I'm not even gonna venture into all of that. So until then, it's your boy take.